Now let's turn our attention to sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. Not enough attention has been paid to the risk of STIs because the more effective the contraceptive at preventing pregnancy, the higher your risk of getting an STI. I repeat, the more effective the contraceptive, the higher the risk of sexually transmitted infections. There are approximately 30 STIs. Some are viruses and some are bacterial. The most common bacterial STIs are chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis. The most common viruses are herpes simplex viruses 1 and 2, human papillomavirus, HPV, and human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, which leads to AIDS. Generally, STIs are transmitted by sexual contact with an infected partner. So does that mean that both men and women can be infected with these STIs? Yes, although depending upon the STI, some affect women more than men and vice versa. You may wonder if it is necessary to have sexual intercourse to transmit these diseases. The answer is no. While vaginal, anal, and oral sex does have a higher likelihood of transmitting infection, it is still possible to transmit infection from skin-to-skin -skin contact. If bodily fluids of the infected partner get on the broken skin of an uninfected partner, whether it's via a rash or scratch or pimple or even recent shaving, viruses or bacteria can then infect the uninfected partner. The pre-ejaculatory fluid, known as Cowper's fluid, can also transmit sexually transmitted diseases as well as pregnancy. Would you always know when you have been infected? The answer is no. Some of these STIs have almost no symptoms initially. Others have relatively minor symptoms in the beginning, but may recur when it appears that the STI has been successfully treated. There's also a possibility of viruses going into a latent phase in which there are no symptoms but the STI is multiplying. Are there medications I can take to cure STIs? The answer is that bacterial infections can sometimes be cured with the antibiotic therapy but both partners must be treated at the same time to avoid reinfection. Antibiotic resistant from recurrent use is becoming a big medical problem. How about viruses? Can viruses be cured? No. Viruses are not curable. There are no drugs or medicines which cure the viruses. There are medicines which can help with symptoms and can prevent the viruses from spreading, but some viruses, like herpes and HIV, can never be totally eliminated and require lifelong therapy. One of the reasons why contraceptives are bad medicine is that the more effective the contraceptive is at preventing pregnancy, the more likely it is to result in an STI. The reason for that is that when partners are more certain there will not be a pregnancy, there is a tendency to not use a condom. And unless both partners are, as they should be, completely committed to each other and certain that neither of them have a sexually transmitted disease, there is the risk of the other partner getting an STI. So now let's take a look at the STIs that can result even when using contraceptives that are effective at preventing pregnancy.